in iTunes U and in other programs as well, you're required to upload a photo or an image that is a specific size. In iTunes U, I believe it's 300 pixels by 300 pixels. And very rarely will you have a, an image that you want to use that is already set to that those specific measurements. So today I'm going to show you how to take an image that you have and crop it and um, set it for those measurements. So I'm at a website called BeFunky.com and I like this website because you don't have to download anything, you don't even have to make an account. So I'm going to go straight over here to the photo editor and I'm going to click upload and mine's on my computer so I'm going to click computer and then find the image that I want and this happens to be it so I'll click open and now I'll come over to the left and click crop so over here they have some Met, um, settings that I can use to make this exactly the size that I need it to be. Um, first I'm going to click lock aspect ratio and then I will set the width to 300 pixels and the height to 300 pixels. That looks really tiny over here. Whoops. But let's first take that off. Now set it sorry about that, jump to head. Now click lock aspect ratio. So it will, it will keep it that square size, but I can go ahead and enlarge it. It's not going to stay at 300 by 300, but it will stay at that square size that I want it to be. Because I don't want to shrink this down yet. I want to make sure it's exactly how I want it to look here. And then once I've got the um, grid around the part of the image that I want to keep, I'll click the check mark. Okay, but now, now we do have to go back and resize it to fit exactly the um, proportions that iTunes U wants. So I'm over here I'm going to click resize and under width, again, I'm going to type 300 and height automatically becomes 300. And now I can save and it does look very, very small, but remember it is going to be on the computer, on an iPad, so it is going to be small. So you just click save and you choose where you want it to save. I'm sure if you click be funky you will have to actually create an account but I'm just gonna put mine back on my computer and I'll name it I tunes you flower image and I'll leave it as a JPEG and click Save so just decide where you want it click Save and you are done hope that helps